My children, you must be aware of the darkness all around you, but you must not let it overcome you. You are entering the darkest time in the history of this world because the fullness of sin must be completed. Most of you feel the stronger attacks of the enemy and the heaviness of weight of evil in your world. I have not left you without defense or without hope. You must not let fear, doubt and depression overwhelm you, but you must let my spirit overwhelm you. You must lift up a song of praise to me from the very core of your very being, and my spirit shall fill you to overflowing, and the darkness will be pushed back away from you. Do not believe the lies of the enemy that tear you down, but believe what I say about you. I say you are an overcomer, and more than a conqueror by my victory on the cross, that I have won over sin, death and hell. I did it once, for all time and forever. Darkness was defeated. Darkness will never overcome the night. The darkness that you now walk through in this world is a test, and it is necessary to sort out all who I have created. Those of this world love the darkness for their deeds are evil. My children love light because they love me and my righteous ways. My children do not make a habit of sinning willfully. They confess and repent before me when they do sin. They hate the darkness. Those who take my words to heart and act on them shall shine brightly in the darkness, and they shall not be overpowered. For I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth, and in my name they shall have the victory over this world, and the ruler of this world, Satan. My children, the more you seek me, the more you will find me. This I speak of spiritually. Physical preparation is of some benefit for the times ahead, and I will lead you in what you should be buying and storing, and I will even give you things that you never expected. But you must seek me first, then all these things shall be added unto you. It doesn't work the other way around. You must know me and commune with me constantly, or every work of your hand will be in vain. Yes, the gold and silver are mine, but in the day of the Lord it shall be thrown in the streets, for it will not be able to save anyone from my wrath. Put your faith in me and ask me how to prepare. Everyone's task is not the same. Some are led to store up much, and some are led to store none. All that store up massive stockpiles of food, water, and provisions, but know me not, shall have it all taken away. My children who seek me first shall see their needs provided for right before their eyes. Some shall store nothing, yet never hunger or thirst. Listen to my voice, and I will tell you what to do. Those who delight in my presence will find that their labor is not in vain and that my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. They will put their hand to the plough, and they will not look back, for it is I that shall pull the load, and it is I that do the work. You must only walk in tandem with me in the path I lead. You will not turn me to the left or to the right, and I will not drag you across the field, kicking and screaming. I will stand still until your will is broken or you and fasten your yoke, and go your own way. I will never leave you, but many choose to leave me. I wait for them to take one step back toward me, and I will come the rest of the way to meet them. I love you all this much. My children, please do not turn from me now. Time is very short. If you turn from me now, your chance to turn back may be taken away. No man knows the exact time of his death or my second coming, but my father does. Both happens faster than a blink of an eye. The time of judgment has come and my wrath follows. If you have repented and are cleansed by my blood and know me by the Spirit, you are prepared to meet me. You shall enter into my night of unspeakable joy and ecstasy, 
and my wrath is not appointed unto you. If you have turned and gone your own way, and your sin remains unrepented of, the great fury of my wrath shall come upon you, and there will be no escape. You shall be cast into a burning prison, the pit of darkness, despair, and torture. I never want anyone that I have created to go to this place, but most love their sin more than me. This breaks my heart. Please repent and receive my spirit and know me. There is not much time left. Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach.